Hi guys, today I have a Halloween treat video to share with you. I'm going to be showing you how to make this yummy Halloween fudge. Here are the items you'll need. Two pinches of salt, one and a half cup semi-sweet chocolate chips, one and a half cup white chocolate chips, half teaspoon vanilla extract for each mixture, one can of sweetened condensed milk, and food coloring. Whatever color you'd like to use, I'm using orange and purple today. Also, don't forget something fun to top it off with. I'm using candy corn. You'll also need an 8x8 baking pan. Yes, I know, this isn't an 8x8 baking pan, but it worked. Some aluminum foil, or some parchment paper. If you use the aluminum foil, I suggest spraying it with a non-stick spray. My choice is parchment paper though, that's usually pretty simple. And you'll just line the pan with your paper, parchment paper or aluminum foil. I'm using the paper, as you'll see, it doesn't really fit into the dish quite <laughs> as easily as you'd like, but once you pour the mixture in, it falls to the bottom and it works just fine. For this first batch, I'm using the pan. We're gonna add our one and a half cups chocolate chips and half can of our condensed milk. We're gonna cook this on low until everything's melted and all mixed in together. Stir continuously. Once everything is all melted, you're going to go ahead and add a pinch of salt and half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then you just mix everything all together. When everything's all mixed together, go ahead and pour that into your baking dish. Then you spread it as evenly as possible along the bottom of your dish. When you're done, put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. After that's cooled, go ahead and mix up your one and a half cups white chocolate chips and the other half can of condensed milk. Once that's all melted, go ahead and add your half teaspoon vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. I didn't pinch it, but I figured that was good enough. Go ahead and stir that all together. When that's done, go ahead and grab your food coloring and add a few drops of food coloring. As you can see, <laughs> I didn't do a few drops. I put a lot in there. And just keep adding more food coloring until you get the color you want. I really wanted like a bright orange, so I added quite a bit of food coloring in mine. There we go again, look at that. I will say it was a lot easier doing this in the microwave than it was on the stove top. I just heated it up at 30 second intervals, and that seemed to be a lot quicker than doing it on the stove top. Once you've got that mixed thoroughly and you're happy about whatever color you've decided on, that's when it's time to pour this over your chocolate chip mixture that's been cooled down. Once you've got that all poured out, go ahead and try to smooth it as best that you can. And remember, it doesn't have to look perfect because either way it's gonna look great. Go ahead and add whatever candy topping you've decided to use. I chose candy corn. When you're done decorating it, go ahead and take that and put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. I decided to go ahead and make a second batch using pumpkins and the purple food coloring. Now that everything's cooled, it's time to cut this up and enjoy our fudge. And voila, fudge is done. You can tell my purple ones didn't turn out as good, but that's because I was a little impatient and I didn't wait as long as I should have before I decided to cut those up. If you're gonna give some of this fudge away, I think a really fun way to give it away would be to put it in one of these book boxes that I found at Dollar Tree. How fun would that be to receive fudge in a cute little box like that?
It makes such a pretty presentation. Also, I think Dollar Tree sells little treat bags and treat boxes that you can get, but I really like this idea, especially for Halloween. I'll go ahead and add the recipe to my description box. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.